we're meant to use the Lotus Fire. Really dangerous. If you want to be safe, you can you can drop Yoshi. You drop Yoshi manually. Not like that. It's too long. You can land on the black blocks once, stand on blocks, and then just damage us there. The damage this time is leaning enough for that. I might do it if I fuck up the dismount again. I shouldn't know, it's not hard. I think you're still able to cheese that without using the star. Just damage boosting. Stupid, I meant to swing at once. This one's very much like you just spend time finding strats for all the jumps and then you're good. Normally I, yeah, I don't do that in one. Oh well. <laughs> I threw too high. Just take it easy there. In the old version you could two cycle that. But that was only because the hand would go lower, because it tracked your initial position, which would be on the ground. That's okay, I guess. I just start going right once the hand goes off screen, and this lines up nicely. Oops. I went too, I was too eager there. <laughs> okay, maybe I should do a turnaround throw there. I'm worried it'll go too low. But uh, I've never actually thrown it too low. Never mind, you can throw it too low. <laughs> I don't want to up toss, it's too risky I think, because that'll just loop the hand into falling on my head. Because if I kill the hand at all, it respawns until it's not dying. 
Oops. I didn't need to jump there, I just, I just had to wind to climb to the side of the vine. That's the first, first strat, basically. I didn't even do that. I meant to lure the hand on the left one more, but I was oddly fast there. I was able to get the shell faster than usual. Like, relative to the hand cycle. I think that's because I lured the hand differently while I was stalling for the pencil. Well, no, I spawned the pencil later, I think is what happened. The pencil gap, um... Kind of like there, I spawned that early and then it lined up nice, more nicely. Nice I feel like everyone waits for that point to jump. That seems really scary to me. What am I doing? Holy shit. Um, I need to normalize that somehow. <laughs> I used to just wing it, but clearly I'm not comfortable with that anymore without the muscle memory. Um, holy shit. Okay. <laughs> that one I had to jump. I didn't lure it properly. That was fine, except I didn't jump, but I could have just done that back and forth really quick. Okay, I'm taking it risky now. I think, that was my, I think that's how I played this level, um, on 1.3, after recording the bug at the hand. I think that was my strategy, it was two cycling, that's still just the scariest shit. Cause I remember that hand pattern with the hand getting me like the moment I landed up at the top. That was really stressful too. That hand didn't... I must have passed its Y position so it didn't know what to do. Like I jumped past it while I was done checking. I'm a bit late. It's right early. Okay. That's fine still. Okay. Oh, I've got the hand kind of early again. I didn't want to hold fuck, dude. <laughs> Never thought this would be a walling point. I did it again, I jumped past this check. Interesting. I shouldn't have spawned it that early. Oh, it caught me while I was jumping, so I stopped early. That could have been bad. There we go, that's my strength. And then this way, and then get the Koopa there. That was really close. So I'm not going well. Risky. Kind of really, yeah, fuck. <laughs> I used to, what I used to do is spin onto the first pillar and then normal jump off the second. But this time I normal jump both, I don't know why. I guess I just like having the extra air, but it made me, it made me panic and kind of fast fall and then try to be early. Because I was worried about overshooting. That fear of overshooting led me to, uh, 
What's the rush? Let me to undershoot the next one. Go early. No, I'm not sorry. I wanted to wiggle, but I didn't really press left, so I just kept going right. Oh, that worked. That was a really nice arc. I don't think I would have made it up if I didn't arc nicely. Like that. Like, I really clipped up into it by doing that. Mm, scary. Okay. That's like fast as possible. Basically. I flip again there because it's a good buffer. On my second playthrough, this kind of something I came up with. It's a good buffer to, um, because you have to wait a bit more after the third flip before it goes. You can't just press right straight away, but you do want to get closer. So it's good. It's a good excuse to get closer. And once the flip's over, the switch is turned. So then you can press right. It's kind of like a nice setup to just consistently make a decent progress, decent time. I don't know what this music is. It slaps them. What am I doing? Holy shit. <laughs> I guess I should land sooner for time. I don't really have stress for this, I just into the fish and boo lure. Okay, that works. No, that didn't, that didn't work too well. Uh, that worked, okay. <sighs> that was close. I forgot to dismount. Mm, I'm not sorry. Just kidding, yeah. <laughs> How did I forget? I, the exclamation mark, I, that, you know, instantly reminded me of the fact that fishing boot disappears like two tiles before you touch it. It did not remind me of this bullet wall for some reason. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, that's fine. Oddly hard jump there. This one too. So this made it a lot easier for you to smile. I am not smart. I didn't realize until later, like, it's quite a bit of Yoshi in this hack. The final boss as well. But also the level one is like entirely Yoshi, this one too. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Just chilling. Just chilling playing the hardest not hardest, but one of the harder morsel hacks. I think horses is still harder. Go over? Yeah, there we go. That was me telling the flame to go over because I definitely command the flame like that. Okay. I was worried um that would go poorly. I know you can like tongue it and then jump one more time, like a fresh jump. It seems a lot better as a strat, honestly. I was a bit early. <laughs> Thank fuck. It's not that tight, but it's scary. Still. Oops. The spring's a bit too effective sometimes. Uh, that one, that's one where I should actually intentionally tongue early. Like, even though I haven't learned it as a strat or whatever. Oh, this part's gonna be stressful. I just remembered what, uh, <laughs> what happens here. Oh, right, my star was different, that's right. Give me this bed. It's really funny how... <laughs> this whole time I've been thinking about how I've seen people do the water level. Where they've been double grabbing the springs in the second half without using the turn block for assistance. Like it, it's supposed to be a consistency setup, so you don't have to do awkward frame, technically frame perfect, but not really uh, spring throws. I mean, I'll get to that when we get there, I guess. Thank you.
that that was really bad um I forgot there's a little big gap there, and then another big gap. I thought that was just the second one. I was getting ready for the second one, and I wasn't paying attention to the first one. I, maybe I would have survived um, without dismounting Yoshi, but dismounting obviously delayed my fall. Although it helped Yoshi stall a bit too. What I was gonna say is Yoshi's like feet do not really align with his actual like standing hitbox here. Oops, I turned really. I keep habitually pressing this moment, but I should just know that it's over at that point. You can kind of like drag Yoshi towards the end and drop a Koopa. Um, Katun did that. I don't know who else. I didn't, I didn't see anyone else play this level, to be honest. But, uh. Yeah, that's a cool strat. But it's kind of awful to do unless it's like right at the very end. So, I guess that works. I was silly because I was still late. <laughs> oh, nice lag. Oh, the one who's here. Okay, I need to remember my strats here. Just... It's a weird strat. I'm pretty sure this is faster too, but whatever. For now, I'm just trying to be consistent. I haven't even like state practice anything. I haven't made a single safe state on this run. <laughs> I really should probably. It would be really useful practice. Go as high as possible. Doing it big. And then at the end it like it just smoothly works, so then it's fine. Oops. I should probably go right as much as I can. Just like this, yeah. I was really no. <laughs> I slowed down Yoshi there to get more uh, a larger window. That's a really nice strat for that. I don't know how intended it is. That was like some of the slowest I've ever gone Yoshi. It, it was too slow, so I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, my first time playing this, that was a godsend of a strat because I died so many times there until I thought of it. Of course, it took several tries to even realize I was supposed to preserve spin. It's not a very obvious setup. Remembering that the spring forces spin regardless of like, you know, what you're doing is kind of crazy. There we go. Ooh, that's close. Okay, can I just wait an extra second? Oh, I didn't land, but that's good, because I, my landing time was bad. That's beautiful. <laughs> Holy shit. I was almost too early again. Okay. Phew. Okay. <laughs> stressful. Stressful. Level. Twenty minutes already. It's gonna be like an hour long run, I guess. Doing this... Which it will be rough. I randomly sent a video um, of like this section the intended way uh, because someone was curious, and I accidentally one shot the second part after doing the first part the intended way, which is what I was trying to show. That was a bit of a shock because I'm not going to do that here. They didn't reach the switch. Okay, they didn't. Yeah. Sometimes the corpse is there. Well, I haven't experienced it myself, but I'm sure the corpses can hit the switch because this, you know how it works. Yeah, this being D-Cheese is like the biggest kick in the nuts for updating, I think. I don't know if you found me a sorry. <laughs> oh, that worked well. Okay. 
Fire's not too bad, but it's still stressful. Oops. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> Oopsie. Wow, I'm shocked I got that twice in a row. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was like the worst obstacle in this hike. Sure, sure, that's fine by me. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm glad that I didn't kill it by mistake. Oh, I actually kept my cape. I've never done that here. Let's see what happens. I assume it powers me down. It does, okay. <laughs> I've never, never, t never checked that before. I was curious. It's just a nice latency, I guess. That you can... Oops, I keep not dropping. What am I doing? Spin. <laughs> Under the rock, apparently? Okay, that's fine. Wait, I'm stopped around this room. I forgot. I completely forgot what I'm doing. It's been a while. Yeah, so I did replay the section a third time. Specifically to show... Or, sorry, the first two sections. Oh, I threw it. Oops. Yeah, I have a stretch for that, but I kind of forgot the timing on it. I have to do it like when it's at the peak, not when it's about to be at the peak. There we go. Yeah. <sighs> That's close. You feel me, Strat here is fucking genius. I fucked up. <laughs> I forgot to kill the rock. That that up toss using the throw block as leverage is so smart though. Like, I tried exactly that, but without the throw block for leverage, because I don't know why. I I guess that's the easy part of the puzzle, really, but I don't know, I never considered it. That was really stupid. So then I had a really convoluted solution instead. You can technically do the, all of it with one throw block, which is really cool. I guess. You know, just like that, and then... I didn't want to clash it, I wanted to drop it, and <laughs> fuck. I forget these things. No, don't do that. Oh, I thought it would bounce one more time. Or not bounce one more time, rather. I didn't expect it to do that. Yeah, maybe the queue I mentioned in... in, uh... in Discord wasn't the most accurate. Maybe it's better to actually... I didn't mean to throw, I just meant to drop. That would have been safer, but... All of it works. Fine. Should be good. Oh, I got the awkward pattern. This is really funny. That rock's not part of the digging chuck, so it really tricks you. You, th you start thinking the next one's gonna be like that too. The, the ones the chuck throws. Like that first one, it has a different bounce pattern where you need to be standing perfectly still on the bottom left where you die. Like a single pixel and you're dead, I'm pretty sure. So you get worried the next chuck, the chuck's rocks are going to do that too, but the chuck's rocks are not doing that because the first one is not a chuck rock. That's fine, I guess. That's also fine, I guess. I have to rush. No, I'm too late. Just kill yourself, yeah. I didn't mean to spin. <laughs> Easiest level, come on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stick with intended stuff, because this is- oops, I forgot what I doing. This is 1.5. I wanna say 1.6 is coming, just <laughs> from what I've heard anyway. I'll put it that way. Um, for example, there's one break at the end of this section. Um, that, for example, I saw Tofu video. Yeah. Oh, this part's awesome. You just hold it. And here, you don't need P-Speed. Everyone gets P-Speed, I don't know why. You don't even have to do a dismount there, but it's safer. Then you're just like, yeah, I don't know. And then you, 
do that. Because you're impatient, and then you die because you're also impatient. <laughs> you don't have to, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that made it. Okay, I didn't think it was going to make it. Because once it's in the air, which one of zero counts as the air, um, a hit Rex moves really slowly, actually. Because it has to recalculate speed after being hit, I think. Something like that. And it just, you know, it doesn't happen. Oh, okay. It doesn't get to do that because it's not landing. It only, like, checks the speed when it's on the ground for some reason. I don't know. It's something strange like that. I'm using all the wrong terminology there. Point is, uh, it can't be in the air when you hit it, if you want it to go fast, which is desired here. I shouldn't hold jump there. Oh well. The first one, you don't need off plus for some reason, if you do the same movement. Like, it's not even very strict. Like, obviously that's true for everything, but... I bonked, so I dismounted just to be safe. What am I doing? <laughs> God, I'm playing like ass. Rusty playthrough. Oh shit. Terrifying. Yeah, even that was fine. Like, the throw block was basically in the racks. As far as, like, you know, if you, if you know how the throw block's collision works, it's uh, very low. It's, it's got a very low hitbox, but. Still didn't matter. Interesting. Okay, let's do this properly. I'm still gonna i I'm still gonna rush because I'm stupid, but that might not make it. Please make it. No, I didn't make it. I also didn't jump, but that's because I was panicking. <laughs> I I don't know why it's through so early. I guess I was worried about clashing with the Rex. I need to think about a lot of stress. I haven't really got like safe stress. I just have stress that worked when I played it the first time. That I'm, you know, and then things that I'm certain are intended or not, I guess, is the other category of stress. There I, my strat, yeah. So there my strat to be like super safe when I first played this was just hold, stand still, hold jump when the Rex hits the floor. Um, here. And you can hold jump and you still make it, but if you fast fall, so you save time, so I should, uh, that's why I did it just now. Just for saving time. Ooh, I delayed there, but that was scary. The Rexes had gone a bit closer. Switch delay for the win. I can hit the switch before it hatches and it doesn't, like, ruin it. Like, just a tiny bit. If you hit it too early, it does ruin it, so... That's close. <sighs> okay, <laughs> that was really silly. I forgot how quick you have to throw for this. Yeah, there we go. Oops, too much right. <laughs> Overshot. I see some people use the throw block, like the bounce of the throw block, which I mean you can, it's really cool, the throw block like just works because, um, it just works might be a weird way to say it. Uh, it's bouncy because it's still in the kick state. Because, um, what's it called? Oh, that's close. Okay. Okay. I started one second that towards the end of my attempt on the second run. If you scroll too far right there, it doesn't work. Those purple coins, or those death blocks, I should say, indicate the Rex pattern. This ending, I just spin jump at the end. That's that my second play. On the first play, I did a normal jump two tiles early. <laughs> or we're like one and a half tiles early. As opposed to half a tile early, which is like what the average player does to safely edge jump without overshooting and, you know, jumping late. Okay, time to. Second half of the game, basically. No one does these jumps in like one go. I don't know why. I mean, that one I understand why not, actually, but. So that's intended.
Nice, holy shit. That shit's scary. Um, <laughs> sometimes you take a, a, a little moment before you actually nudge the shell. Uh, I died there once, kind of like that. I just I pressed right too early and I nudged it left instead, basically. Because I didn't instantly kick it. So that's why I stood quite far left there. And even then, that was actually late. I almost. <laughs> I, felt, I feel like I was close to overshooting anyway. Wait, stop doing that. I forgot everything about this part. Um. Yeah, do it late. There we go. Doing it big. Oops. Holy shit. There we go. Here I just walk off and switch at the same time and it lines up pretty nicely. I don't even know what's intended here anymore. This is risky as shit. What I do now is this. Because I don't like tonguing in close quarters. If I mess that up, I can also just, um, you can just use the message box there as well instead of, um, that might be bad. Okay, saved. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, okay, so two other things there, I guess. You can tongue the net Koopas, the two net Koopas you need, while you're jumping off the great platform if you just stall and swing a bit while tonguing, because you won't turn around because you're tonguing if you time it right. And then it's pretty clean. Oops. I forgot you have to wait a bit if you want to do the walk off straight. Sometimes I jump off, but I don't know, I don't like it as much. <laughs> Oops. I actually delay, um,. I delay hitting this. Okay, if I can fucking grab the block. <laughs> uh, I delay hitting the wing block here because it's easier. Literally, that's just like, it is easier. Actually, I want to do something fun. Oh, I was gonna say, I want to do something funny, but that requires me to not die straight away <laughs> or not lose the throw block. I want to check. Yeah, in the speedrun, I'm gonna fuck around a bit. Uh. This really isn't that much of a speed run. I missed that up. Oh, I got a really nice block hit. Okay, well. Did not need the throw block for that one. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I want another chance anyway. Oh, that made it. Wow. Getting really lucky right now. I love how these wing blocks, I'm pretty sure they're just literally. Their X and Y speed, like, code is swapped. Wait, I wanted to go. Oh, okay, well, too late. Basically, I'll, I'll show it if I die again. If I don't die again, I guess no one will ever see it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that was a pretty bad attempt at the check gate. That's a funny check gate, I like it. I feel like there haven't been that many hard check gates in recent time that aren't just like, oh, we put two instead of one. Something silly like that. Or you're on a moving platform, or you're on a mole like in Nabana, and you do it three times because we really hate you. What I wanted to check is... Huh. I thought that would kill the check. Maybe it did. No, it didn't. Huh. Basically up here, there's a this pink switch box. I should have jumped to scroll so you could see. And then I could see what happened to the throw block. I'll do that next time if I try it again. Okay, I guess I'm trying it again. <laughs> I didn't I don't like want to actively die. It's just happening. Oh, it's probably despawning. Yeah, but basically that's one of zero. That's why the chuck is sliding. When you break it, it instantly falls. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I need to confidently just hold right there when I when I do that part. I don't really remember this part. Both times I played, I kind of just clutched it up. It's like surprisingly not that hard of a chuck gate, but if you don't have the right strat, you are gonna obviously just not get it at all. Not get it at all. So, what the fuck? I don't know how I upped off to the left, but that's alright. This is funny hack. Dude, I wanna... Okay, I need to be faster because, yeah. This robot... Oh, that spawned super late. I probably spawned it earlier and then just didn't. 
ever despawn it. No, it doesn't make much sense though. That wing block's a bit of an enigma. It, it often doesn't align. I don't know why. I forgot to hit the block late there. Like I intentionally go a bit late here. Oops. I also remember to hold jump while I die to make that walk off easier. A little silly strat, but I mean it helps. So. Dude, <laughs> okay, I'm playing like shit. This one's I I I actually think like the level before this one's harder than this one. Especially with the snake block thing in the first half, and then in general in the second half, it's kind of. I got a frame perfect jump. <laughs> I couldn't scroll up because I got a frame perfect jump and I fell off. I didn't want to do that. I wasn't even dead. I just want to. I want to see if the Chuck can be killed. Cause I don't know if those are one of zero or if they're like special switch blocks that just happen to have a one of zero surface. You know. I want to say they're just one of zero and they just have a cool graphic because you know, funny pink switch block. Shit, I didn't even bump. That's kind of crazy. It is one of zero. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I'm satisfied now. That was silly. Um, I wanna right. So I think my strat here that I was doing is oops, three jumps, a stall, and then one last jump. Like a stall. As in just no jump, so the Chuck does like it's a little hop. It's like a little idle cycling hop. And then, uh... And then that's when I was gonna... You know, I, just, I didn't even think about it until now, but... Uh, you can just totally hit the top one with your head. I always use the throw block. I don't know why. Maybe it's slightly faster to use the throw block. It doesn't really matter though. You just do that, and you're good, yeah. This switch is nice and annoying to hit. <laughs> yeah, like that, there we go. That, I thought the chip would jump. I was a bit early, I think. If was a tiny bit later, you would've jumped, but... Okay. I guess I didn't think about how fast you fall when you bonk something. It wasn't a four-tile high jump, it was a four-tile high jump where it bonked and then instantly fell. So the end of the it's like it's like a four to high jump where I let go of jump at the top. I don't re grab, even though I was holding jump there. It's, it's kind of like that. It's a weird distinction. Don't I forgot? I have to do an idle hop or let him do an idle hop. Love love nuanced mechanics here. He he has a lot of checks in this level actually. And thinking about it, the second half is a check too, like a pretty major one. I guess. <laughs> Even though it's a winged block level. Oh, that was way too late. Um, even though it's a winged block level, it's just like a winged block and chuck level. It's <laughs> three chucks. Well, four chucks. Three in this half. And then a major one in the second half, too. I think it's just one in the second half, but... I don't know if you're meant to use the chuck to write it. I see some people do that. That barely worked, okay. Okay, good. Oops. <laughs> so my strat here is funny. I just do one cycle. One bounce, I should say. I lure it with that jump there. I fuck that up. It should still work on this version. I'm pretty sure I did it on this version. Because getting on the chuck, like manipulating it off screen so that it doesn't, um... <laughs> I meant to do two high bounces, not a... I was just trying to control the bounce there. There we go. Nice. I did it again, holy shit. <laughs> also, you don't have to- you can literally walk onto this block, you can run onto it, it's really funny. Like, everything works. I don't know how to set that up. Okay, that might still work. Okay. Go fast because I'm a bit late. 
I never know if I should go ahead of the wing blocker early or before. Because you're able to go ahead of it. There we go, okay. And the second cycle touched the orb the instant that the wing block kind of overlaps the ground. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that stride is a. Uh... <laughs> I died like four or five times there. Eventually, I just thought, okay, I'll always go the second cycle. Just pay attention to when you're going on the second cycle, and I kind of fine tuned it from there. You literally can't go first cycle, so. I mean, the first cycle is literally halfway through the cycle by the time you reach the orb, so yeah. <laughs> I forgot this level was next, okay. Time to suffer a little, but should be okay. That one fish didn't feel like following. There we go. Yeah, I saw people do a strat like that, where they just drop it straight away. Or, or not straight away, but from up there. I thought I'd try it. I don't like it. <laughs> Back to what I was doing when I played this level. I do an extra bounce there for ease, I just don't feel like taking a risk. It's not hard to catch it, really. I don't think, anyway. But... Just aligning myself. Oh, that cost too low. Okay. Actually go up like that, it's a bit silly. Oh shit, the fish followed me. That never happens. Holy fuck. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, holy fuck. I don't know how... Huh. I've managed to never let that happen before. I wonder how I let that happen there. I must have... I think I went too low when I leered the fish. Um, when I entered the tunnel. I think I, I didn't hug the ceiling. So basically the rib van fish went lower because I was at a lower point. That's my guess. Because I did I did realize I was kinda low, but I thought it wasn't an issue. Oops. Hopefully I'm only here like I don't know, twenty minutes at most. On the whole level I mean. This half should only be like five really. Praying that's not a jinx, that'd be rough. Oh I'm spreading them out right now, that's not good. Yeah, get closer. This is really dumb. Uh, nah, that wasn't gonna work. I love doing that, like, one frame tap. I think you can do two frames and it's fine too, because you're moving up quite a bit. But if you do much longer, it's like... This could be rough grabbing it. Unless you're grabbing it from this side. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I guess I've gotten better at that. Hmm, okay, I tried- I've seen a lot of people do that. Actually going to the right of the fish. I've never done that. I did what I did last time. Um... I don't know which is easier. It, it looks like the right side is honestly easier because it just lines up more nicely. But it's still a really strict window. Probably a stricter window, it's just easier to hit that window. If that makes sense. Oops. I might miss this. No, okay. I wasn't feeling confident on that one for some reason. There we go, okay. Let me try on this. There we go. Ooh, okay. Good. I almost touched the off switch for fun. That's not very smart. <laughs> it's still a threat until you get through the pipe. Okay, this part will be kind of rough, but... I like how a lot of the movement aligns. This especially, but like also just getting the mushroom, you can just like neutral and it works great. And I keep doing that. Like a frame perfect, like... Not frame perfect, actually. It's just because I'm dropping instead of throwing. If I was throwing and re-picking it up, that would be frame perfect underwater, because you turn around in a single frame. 
Okay, you just hold down there and you wait for the mushroom like that. It's really smooth. Sure. Holy shit, okay. But like, no one does this. I don't know why. This is a clean strat for a double grab. Like, you can do a frame perfect turnaround throw, sure, but that's like. You know. Not that easy. So, I usually do a throw there, and then I saw Yuffie only did a drop, and it looks so much better. So I'm trying to drop there, which also makes more sense with the coin guys, honestly. The coin angle, honestly. But, uh, there I dropped a bit early, I think. I need to stop doing it like that, what the fuck am I doing? Okay, hang on. I need to have a spring in my hand to actually get up here, okay. That was really silly. I keep not throwing, I don't know why. I guess I'm letting go of left. I'm like tapping instead of holding it to throw. The down button has nothing to do with it, which is nice, but... Oh, I'm stupid. I did it on the wrong... The fish is going the wrong direction. I was too slow to sit up. I need a fish to be moving right, not left. Okay, I almost killed it with the notebook. Not too funny if that happens. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, well now, now I can actually do that. Okay, let's do... Never mind, we're not doing that next week. <laughs> I was gonna pause buffer it to make it easy, but... Too lazy. I didn't think I was gonna hit that. Okay. Well, that's basically it. And then you just grab the spring and you're done. It's not long at all, it's just. What's the word? Confusing. Oh, and I guess you have to also not fuck up the pipe entry. Uh, and the, the part after it, the spring. I don't know how you messed it up though. I, I know one person who messed it up. I feel bad for them. I don't know how they did it, how they messed it up. <laughs> I guess they were too excited and they didn't realize the spring would be used still or something. I keep dropping the fuck. Instead, just just the the same thing, but on the other side. Well, oh, that's close, actually. I didn't want to press down that much. What the fuck? <laughs> I went down so much there on the last tab. I really didn't mean to. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Big oops. All right. Maybe I'm f maybe I am doing a frame perfect thing sometimes, and that. No, but the spring's still going left. It wouldn't go left at all if I did it frame perfectly, I think. Like, it would go left, but it would push me, and it would be really awkward looking. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, that was, like, really clean movement-wise. Wow, okay. I'm underestimating the, uh, the potency of these red blocks. Potency. I guess just because there's- yeah, the side hitbox is lenient, but not the, the vertical one. I'm expecting the corner to be like a massive safe zone, but vertically they're not lenient at all. Don't fucking- stop being stupid, holy shit. I'm trying to get a down swim when I drop, so that I get down quicker. That time I just stopped bothering, because I kept fucking it up. But uh, there you saw how long it took me to- well, if you were paying attention anyway. You would see how long it took me- that's not gonna work. You'd see it took a long time to, um... 
fuck was that? To descend again because I had all this upward speed, I couldn't cut because I found items soon. That was kind of close. Like I was really late there. I mean, you hear the downswim sound. I'm not sure why I didn't go down. I guess the spring overrode it too much. Maybe I just did it last frame. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe I had, maybe, because I did repress it, kind of panicking. Maybe that's all that happened. I just pressed it late. Because usually the moment I hit the spring, I press it again. But then, there, it felt weird for some reason, so I let go briefly, and then I repressed. Maybe it was fine, but I repressed too late. There we go. Get some coins for fun. <laughs> that spring almost didn't fall too far. That spring was almost eligible for use. That's nice. Imagine, yeah, that could be an interesting strat actually. Doing the drop with like a reduced speed. But then if you do it with a reduced speed, which I mean the drop already is compared to the throw, you wouldn't even be able to reach the spring. That's the death I had the first time I got there. Okay. Anyway. Did not take 20 minutes. That's a really good sign. Hour 15 would be a pretty solid third playthrough time. Or first run time, whatever you want to call it. I like my stretch for this. I have a lot of, like, just nice lineups. I did this in one cycle. Oops. <laughs> I actually jump out of the water to that key with a specific timing window. Here, too, I line up with the wall to make that line up nicely. And I go when the fish bonk the top. Here I throw, and then I go when the fish bonk the left wall. It, it, there's a lot of leniency here, too. You just need a full cycle that you have time to react to. This part's oddly rough, but... The fish are nice. There we go. Okay. Good, good, good. I took a while to do that on my second playthrough. It was a bit frustrating. Maybe I should learn a strat for this that, like... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I was paying attention to where the key was. I was gonna say, maybe I should learn a strat for this that's, like, a bit more... Um, consistent with the actual juggling, like, motion, so I don't have to do this thing where I grab one and then... Uh, drop the other one. Oops, I've never done that strat, <laughs> but it's faster, so I'm gonna try it. It doesn't look too hard. What I used to do is dismount Yoshi into the spike area, and then... Quick mount, there we go, okay. <laughs> so slow. Fuck, I can't wait. I'm not sure that's the right key. Yeah, that wasn't the right key. Okay. Turning around is pretty effective for stopping. God damn it. Pretty effective for stopping Yoshi from uh, eating the key that you're holding in your hand. So that's why I do that there. there we go. I am not playing well. I just meant to be. Okay. Maybe a jump is worth it. Okay, that basically that will always get me the right key by grabbing first. I didn't want to bonk, but that's okay, I guess. I thought I would bonk before I. Okay. <laughs> I should go slower, I guess. I have time. A little bit, but. Like, not that much time, but I have time. I like this strat for it. Spit on the second block, so it...
that didn't work as expected. And the music died. Oops. Okay, the shell, I forgot how long the throw block takes to get up. I use the top throw block so that even if the switch is the other way, I can mount. I can climb up and get the Yoshi. Actually, I'd like to inte I'd like to get that. On a, like, guaranteed get that. Wait. I had the wrong key. I wasn't stacked on both when I tried to do that. <laughs> okay, I'll get the music back. <laughs> That's feeling awkward. Um... I didn't want to grab that one. Fuck. That's not gonna work. I didn't mean to repress run. All I had to do was not repress run and I was good. And then, uh, well, no, I have to be fast as well, actually, if I do this try, because Yoshi holds pretty quickly. I have to then drop Yoshi into a one tall gap and then. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't do that try. There's negatives to it, for sure. It's just so unsmooth compared to how I was doing it before, but I don't remember how I was doing it before. Can I... Holy shit. There we go. No, fuck. And I also jumped out here. I didn't need to jump out here. <laughs> Playing like shit. How am I grabbing it so quickly? I'm actually, like, pressing right before I jump. I'm trying not to, but... Maybe I am. That was close. I want it on. I did it again, dude. Wait, what happened? Hang on. <laughs> what is my phone doing? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Got to. Interruptions that I didn't expect. I thought I was coming from a computer somehow. I don't know if audible in the video, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Okay, I, did two, I made a stupid mistake here. Um. <laughs> That's really dumb. I uh, could have killed me, I think. The key disappeared. I don't know, maybe this key disappears differently. It doesn't do the usual sprite killer method. But I can certainly kill you. Wait, I forgot to, I forgot to grab one. Oh, let's go. I should throw like no. What? It was still on? How? <laughs> Wait, how? <laughs> Did I misjudge? So I'm using I'm using pause buffers to try and just, because it's moving so fast, it's kinda hard to note what's actually happening. Pause buffers are really nice for just seeing like which which side is the shell hitting, for example. You could also play to always get like you could always oops, I expect too high. What you can also do is um, tongue the key into the on-off, into the on-switch, at a specific time, so you always get the same shell cycle. Like, relative to the at the same time, relative to the shell. I need a fucking- I'm just gonna run off. It's a bit tighter time-wise, but it's, I guess it's faster too. And it's a bit more consistent, even if it's tighter. I don't sometimes- oops. Forgot to turn around there. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if delay isn't big enough for threat. Go 
you want it off, right? Yes, you want it to go before it hits. Like that. And then you do that. You fuck up because you didn't get a second throw block. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and I, I missed- that's, that's not even hard, I didn't have any time pressure. I could have been a bit more careful about it. Oh well. Uh, that would be like a silly backup. That's how- that's the strat I was trying to use, under time pressure. <laughs> with the other strat where I keep it on and I mount it up there. Obviously didn't work well. Or I'm just bad at it, I guess, I don't know. It's definitely doable, just dropping Yoshi in one target like that. But yeah, there's certainly consistency strats for this, it's just hard to find them. My favorite one is just holding up against the switch wall and then, um... You know, holding up against it while it's on, which is, you know, lenient enough. And then going from there, to always drop it into the wall, where it freezes completely because it's stuck in the wall. So you don't have to worry about having too much speed or anything silly like that. Oops, I went too far. Taking longer than I'd like <laughs> for the, the easier level. The last level shouldn't take too long, thankfully. It's very consistent. It's less confusing too, I think. A lot of nice strats. I don't know how I did that. I must have. I don't know if my run buttons. Okay, I don't think it did. I must have just held it really long. I cannot play right now. <laughs> it's fine. Please? Oh my god. <laughs> Never thought I'd suck at this level. I really enjoyed this the first time. Okay, that doesn't mean I'm good at it, but I, I feel like I picked it pretty quick. Wow, I did it again. Okay, well, so much for consistent, I guess. I'm not consistent at it. <laughs> Can I stop, like, doing this thing where I drop it into myself? I'm not even sure how I'm doing that. But I'm, like, picking it back up without even touching it. Without even pressing right. <sighs> okay. I want it to be off, right? No, it's on. Fuck. That was too early. I should do- I should do my setup where I tongue the on switch at the right time so the shell is easier. It's much easier to get the shell before it hits the right switch than after. That's why I keep doing that by mistake, but I'm- I'm not timing the on off right. So whenever I get a, psych, a setup where I need it- I need to hit it after it hits the right switch. It's really hard to do. And if I do a different setup than throwing from the right like that, it's very likely the dead shell will hit the on switch and fuck me again. Well, that was clean, except I didn't commit for some reason. <laughs> Please? Oh my god. <laughs> that was clean, okay, good. I keep taking two tries for that, I'm curious why I want this. I imagine that's where the subpixel part of item mounting comes into play. Okay. I pressed this mount really late. Like, really late. That was silly. Oh, I see, I'm like still kind of pushed into it, even though... Okay, that worked. I didn't even turn around. <laughs> Just had some good speed. You need quite a bit of speed, I think, to make that work consistently, so... Oh, it wasn't even high. I should've waited for the Yoshi to get up. Oops. It wasn't high enough. I mean, it was, but like, <laughs> barely. <laughs> I wasn't gonna make that. I'm too late again. Oops.
That's close. Uh, there we go. Phew, okay. <laughs> Maybe I should find a strat that drops Yoshi higher, if I get better at that strat. Like, so I don't have to wait as much. Or I could get- I could- I could normalize the on strat somehow, and get better at the Yoshi drop in the one tile cap. That's not my usual strat, but it's okay. Does that work? Yeah, that works nice. That's way different to what I usually do. Why do I do that? I can just do this. That's the nice thing about this. Oh, I spawned too high still. Okay, okay. I'm not good at that for some reason still. I just like pick it up a little. Oh, that's bad. I did not lure it for anything. That was silly as well. I, again, didn't lure it for enough. It went really fast because it bonked the wall. I didn't expect that. It just wasn't ready. Safe strat here, really. I don't know if it's probably in one cycle for that. But... You can definitely die from re grabbing into these balls, so. Scary shit. If I didn't hold jump there, I was fine. God damn it. <laughs> Why did I do that? I forgot my strength. <laughs> I do a setup jump for speed. Apologies for the camera angling up and down a lot. I'm on a soft surface. <laughs> it's a weird way to put it actually, but yeah. It's not wrong. Here, you don't need P-Speed at all, but it's kind of hard. There we go. With a slight angle, which is really nice, because often... I managed to get the spawns there. <laughs> often, I say. I actually failed to spawn once for me, I don't know why. Oops. I really love this right? I love the use of springs with uh, like their, 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 just their unique properties. Because most things, you know, don't have those. There we go. <laughs> I also like doing that in moment to cleanly, cleanly, um, cleanly get my speed back. I didn't even land. Holy shit, I didn't think I could land so quickly. I forgot, yeah, um... This is 8 frame float delay, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't even have P-Speed. Oh, I let go because I got, before I got P-Speed, yeah. Sure. I just also didn't even hit the spring. That was a really bad attempt. That's okay. That's okay because a first D is fine, because I still have P-Speed, I just don't have flight. What happened there is I jumped on the first frame, um... I jumped on the first frame I had, I landed. You can't take off from that, you can't fly, because you have you have one flight meter left, or whatever it's called. Uh, and that's a deplete before you can get a new flight meter. So basically, I have like, 
a single frame of flight meter left. And I end up using that instead of getting a new bar if I jump on the first frame after I land. I keep overshooting, what am I doing? <laughs> I paint focus is kind of important here. All right. This is a really cool section though. It's a bit silly, like this part. You know, I think most people would agree that it's oddly simple and kind of just funny. Here you can just stall and then go either direction you want. B, B, B. I wonder how many people in barb chat thought this is barb. <laughs> Must have been a lot. Certainly looks like it at first glance. Nice, I guess. Can I like slow down? Thank you. Okay. That was oddly close uh, to failing, I mean. The way I did that. It's oddly not too hard, this section. It's just... Oops, I forgot my. <laughs> okay, it's a little hard. <laughs> I will admit, I will concede. But uh, once you've learned it, it's like, yeah, I don't know, it's not that crazy. I'm not gonna do the sticky fly um, air catch at the end, That's, I heard some people did that. I never considered doing that. Well, I considered getting an air catch somehow, but I never thought about how a sticky would set it up for you. I just kind of assumed it wasn't really feasible. Even if you kill the bullet. But no, it turns out it's actually quite feasible because you can sticky, so... Oops. <laughs> Please don't. I cut them out. I should have pumped and just damaged Mr. Bowie. <laughs> I'm not very good at this fight. It's like not hard, but I'm also just bad <laughs> So it still might be a little while. But like really it's just learning. It's it's another one of those like, you know, people call them muscle memory tests or whatever. It's another one of those really at the, at the end of the day. It's not a bad one by any means, but it certainly relies on you just learning it. Oops. Might be fine. Okay. No, that's not fine. I mean, we can practice it. Never mind. <laughs> Might fight this one. That's okay. No, that's not okay. Koop was too high. I was gonna say, you have to stall for the Koop anyway, so it's actually okay if you, like, are late here. Here specifically. But, uh, everywhere else, you want to get ahead of the bullet. Well, like, no, actually, here you don't want to get too ahead either. Well, I mean, really, you want to get so far ahead that you can do a full cycle down below without repercussion. The problem is it's really inconsistent, or just not easy. I see I'm trying to right now. I'm probably going to get hit, though. Oh, I didn't want it. And then here I just do this. Tap forward. Start diving. I doubled. I keep forgetting that third twirl is late. I definitely have muscle memory for doing that with the correct direction. So the fact that I had the wrong, um, I want to say most people do. The fact that I had the wrong direction because I twirled twice absolutely ruined it for me. Um, I dive here and then I pressed left while I was facing left, and I did not move left, and I'm really upset. I just wanted to slow down there. God damn it. It should be fine. I am not smart. I, I I don't spin jump that first one. I twirl it. I <laughs> God damn it. God, memory is failing me right now. Alright. 
Okay, I'm actually going early enough. Very consistently right now, which is really nice. I should stop turning there. There we go. I could have done that three cycles if I didn't turn. I was almost late there, that was scary. Okay. What the fuck? How did I not dive? Oh, I'm sad. I guess I pressed I turned back to late. Unfortunate. I was too late. Or too early, I should say. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I didn't hit the on-off. Faster death is better. Wow, okay. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. I love how the fucking bullet inside me didn't kill me, but the bullets like side brushing against me after that killed me. Very cool. It's not surprising, but it's funny still. No, don't twirl that one. Fuck, I'm stupid. God, I stopped paying attention. I was thinking about the next part, making sure I don't fuck up the spins. <laughs> okay, come on. My focus is so divided now, because I, I, I'm not letting muscle memory take over for this part now. What am I doing? I, I don't touch the D-pad there. I, <laughs> My memory is fucking ass right now, holy shit. Please don't, okay. Should we get enough? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm feeling, feeling it this time. Okay. Oh, that's how you're meant to do it, probably. I never wrapped, because wrapping is kind of terrifying. There we go, okay. And now for the scary ball. Oops. Yeah, spinning, spin on, spin off, and the P speed is safe in the air, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't understand more slow sometimes. Okay, I missed the one cycle, that's okay. Oh, I fucked that up too. Okay, this is scary. Um, should be okay still. Yeah. Good. Now let's pray this goes well. In theory, this left side should be really good on this cycle. It's pretty good. Is it? Nice. That- I'm not sure that worked. It turned red. <laughs> I'm not sure why it turned red. It should've worked. If it doesn't work, we'll find out very quickly. It worked, okay. Cool. Nice. We did it. Nice. I don't know how timing works on this, but... Good shot. <laughs> hour 20, about... About an hour 20. Yeah, I panicked and thought something playing was playing on my computer, but... It was coming from not my computer, it was coming from elsewhere. So, there was a brief pause, um, in the key level. I don't believe any game footage of this stuff, because I paused in the game when I paused the video. Uh, but the mouse might have moved, for example. Um, yeah. So that's version 1.5. 1 uh, 1.6 will probably fix a couple tiny things, but I believe I did everything I intended. Or, hmm. The one thing that probably isn't intended is that, like, on-off strat, where I jumped on the, uh, in, in the key level second half, where I was trying to jump on top of the on-switches. That's probably not intended. Um, but it's so difficult to make that work because you only you can only break one block to re in and reach it, the Yoshi, when it's on the on block. So you have to plan to have it on the on block and then reach the Yoshi without going over, which means you can't like barely land. You have to actually land with extra air room. 
And then on top of that, you have to slot it into a, the one power gap so you can break another throw lock. See, that's rough. Yeah, really cool hack. I really enjoy this hack. I'm glad, I'm glad the 1.5 fixed most of it. So it's, uh, yeah. You can't skip stuff like this. Second section of level four, or the last trick of level eight, and stuff like that. What? Oh yeah, when I first saw this, I thought the eggs were gonna break, activate the on-off switches, like the egg, egg fragments. They don't, but would have been wild if they did. If they did. I guess because they're not really sprites. I don't know how. I don't know how any of this stuff is rendered. If they're actual sprites or. Just entirely like drawn, like with hard coded animation or something like that. I guess I'm just leaving it to run the credits. Just cause, I don't know. For completion's sake, I guess. I guess I should think about stuff I can improve. I can really work on level 2. <laughs> first half. I can also definitely work on... Angel Block first half. He wrote in a sherub. Um... Angel Block. Sorry, Wing Block. Uh... I don't know. Tower of Keys, second half, obviously, I could really work on. I mean, first two. I got lucky here, honestly. First half, I was pretty bad at when I played it the first two times. I feel like I don't have... Even though I have strats for a lot of it, I just fuck it up all the time. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Otherwise, it's not hard. Oh, I was fucking up level 5 first half a lot. I should probably think about being a little less cocky when I play that. <laughs> it's definitely the easiest level still. By, by quite a margin, I think. We saw none of these in the heck. Nice. Mario has such a black mustache, and then Luigi has such a blue mustache. It's kind of funny. never thought about that. And their like, hair is blue, except the hair under their hat, because it's shaded by the shadow, it's like black. Or maybe it's the eyebrows? I don't know actually. I guess those are the eyebrows. Why are the eyebrows black when the rest of the hair is blue? On Luigi anyway. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, fucking I'm done. This is a this is a fun run. I'll probably run this more seriously later, but this is just like maybe after the next update. But yeah.